Baton Rouge has an infant mortality rate that is twice that of the national average. And so we saw an opportunity to extend resources and health and wellness resources to our families. Today, in partnership with the Junior League, we are providing 18 baby beds and cribs to our families, ensuring that they have a sustainable life and reducing the infant mortality right here in Baton Rouge. There are some babies that are sleeping with moms because they don't have money to buy cribs. So the Junior League very graciously allowed us to submit a proposal to buy 18 beds to give 18 infants a safer place to sleep. The Junior League decided to give this gift to the Baton Rouge Housing Authority because it provides tremendous impact to our community and it's literally saving lives. It was an opportunity we certainly couldn't pass up and it's going to have impacts on generations to come. The partnership with the um, beds for kids and the cribs for the babies is just a, one example of how partners and the housing authority come together to make sure that residents have what they need um, in building a larger community where they can thrive. Housing is so much more than just finding a safe place to live. It's also being connected and having relationships with your families. And so this was very important to us. As the housing authority, we do so much more than just housing. We're creating a nurturing and supportive environment for our residents to grow um, within. So a project like this takes coordination. Um, it really just takes a good set of eyes, making sure that we have the residents' best interest at heart and that that's the, the forward motion for us. First and foremost, this whole project has been about safety for the babies. Um, we have a pamphlet that we give to each mother um, as we deliver the beds that talks about where the baby sleeps, making sure the baby is safe even during nap time. It means a lot because it's safety involved. I sleep kind of hard so it can be me rolling on top of her or me not hearing her cry so by her being in her own bed it'll be a lot safer for her. They just went over, you know, the abilities for a child to sleep in a bed, you know, on its own, the safety, the precautions for a child to sleep in a crib. I did learn a lot. We helped them make the bed and prepare the bed. We gave them receiving blankets and we showed them how to use it properly, how to place the baby in the bed with something behind their back so if the child rolls over, they don't run the risk of having a SIDS moment and um, how they are able to let the bed rails up and down in order to get the baby in and out of the bed without injuring the baby or hurting themselves. And it's not just the beds, but the social workers are working with these moms to make sure they understand what is a safe sleeping environment and why a safe sleeping environment is better for both moms, because they need their sleep, and for the infants. We're actually gonna monitor them for 12 months. We'll follow up in two weeks to make sure that the baby is sleeping in the bed um, and go over the safety conditions again with the resident as well. Uh, this is first and foremost in this, pro this whole process is to make sure that the children are safe. It was difficult. She uh, wakes up every now and then. She'll slap me, waking me up. And I also have two other boys, so all three of them would be in the bed with me at times, getting kicked in the back. So I'll get a good night's sleep tonight. This is sort of the culmination today of passing out these beds, which convert to toddler beds and youth beds later on.